Thank you, President. Here, um, we've come here today to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of an agreement that should have led to 10 years of growth and prosperity in Europe. Sadly, the reality is that that agreement has shown itself to be a failure. Today, the European institutions are weaker and European citizens are weaker. Today, the European Union is in a profound institutional and political crisis. And I believe this is a symbol of a failure in our approach of a centralizing uh, type of politics promoted by the Lisbon Treaty. Uh, Lisbon, which didn't want to respect the prerogatives of national states, of peoples, and uh, respect differences between European citizens and European nations. Now they're seen as a danger when they should be seen as a, an asset and should be protected. Today, I see similarities between uh, the approaches that we had back then and the same mistakes that are being made by um, the Council and um, Mr. Michel's um, predecessor. And I see the same mistakes being made um, as were committed during the Brexit referendum. The European institutions are committing mistakes in how they tackle certain people. It's the same mistake as we saw in Brexit, but the result was different. Um, the Irish referendum was subverted through institutional methods, and I believe that the um, same mistake was made by the Council, although they weren't able to subvert the um, result, the choice of the British citizens in 2016. My advice is let's not make the same mistake. Today, uh, well, in January, we're going to have to negotiate a very important agreement with the United Kingdom, and the approach that the Council and this House should take should not be to punish uh, British citizens for their choice. We should not try to subvert a democratic choice made by British citizens. What we should do is try to work for an agreement that will protect our businesses, that will protect our citizens, and an agreement which will allow us, even after 2020, to have a uh, beneficial relationship of cooperation with the United Kingdom. If Europe and the European institutions are not able to listen to citizens more closely and to take uh, proper account of their decisions and uh, to take proper account of prerogatives for member states, then sadly it will not in 10 years be able to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Treaty of Lisbon. Thank you.